The Princess Bride looks like a child's fantasy, but it's actually for people of all ages. It's very funny, and it makes a lot of fun of all of the conventions of all the childhood stories we've been told. The movie starts out with a princess who doesn't realize that the farm boy who works for her is actually in love with her. But one day their eyes meet, and they realize that this is true romance. Oh, Fill these with water. Please. As you wish. That day she was amazed to discover that when he was saying, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. Then the farm boy dies, or seems to die, and the princess goes on a quest in order to find life for his dead body. On the way, she encounters all kinds of horrible adventures, including the screaming eels. If you don't believe me, just wait. They always grow louder when they're about to feed on human flesh. Behind all this makeup is Billy Crystal playing Miracle Max, a guy who might be able to bring the farm boy back to life. The king's stinking son fired me, and thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! Beat it, or I'll call the Brute Squad. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. Manny Patinkin is fun in the movie as a swordsman who can fight with both hands. You killed my father. Prepare to die. One of the lights of the movie is all the strange characters that the heroes encounter along their journey. But I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilda to frame for it. I'm swamped. The Princess Bride is a totally original movie and a real delight. I laughed a lot during this film, partially because the story itself is so sweet and then partially because the screenplay is so wicked and takes such liberties with those innocent and heroic characters. The Princess Bride gets three and a half stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.